If you clicked on this video, you are lucky because I will show you that the Lich Staff is overpowered for movement and I became the movement god in Hoplite. Not only that, but I will be giving you guys a Hoplite game analysis and an overview on how to play Hoplite Battle Royale so you can win your own games and have fun. Without further ado, let's start. As you can see, I jumped down immediately and ignored the first chest because if there's more chests at the bottom, it's more, you know, it's better. And in general, you want to get gunpowder, gaps, diamonds, and bones. And look at us, we found a corpse. And we should straight away go for that. Get a bucket, get lava, and just get the head. That's a free G head at the start of the game, which is very important. And let's continue. So basically, we got cobwebs when you found a mineshaft. If you ever find a mineshaft, the first thing you want to do is get a cobweb. And maybe just open one chest, but that's it. Okay, you don't want to waste time. Time is of the essence here. And there's this trick with the lava that I'm doing right now, as you can see. And it's very broken. Now, we're gonna do this trick with water and climbing in one block so that when you basically look for a cave, you're just chip mining with one block and it's so much faster. And if you're 110 FOV, which is the best FOV in my opinion, you should just, you know, easily find it. And look at the scraper. I'm, I'm messed up here, honestly. I kind of messed up. I was at 1 HP because of that. Because I thought tick were like, the ticks were like a bit slower. Anyway, we eventually found diamonds. Sorry if this is fast paced because it is fast paced at the end of the day. And after that, we found more diamonds. And you know what that means. That's three diamonds, that's plus one diamond. That's easily a sharp two diamond sword. Like, come on, then we found more diamonds. Eventually, it became seven to eight, and then nine. What the hell? Anyway, we found nine diamonds. That's boots, and diamond sword, and e-table with a free diamond, so that whenever someone drops a diamond, basically, it's ours to hand over to, you know? And we're killing leather, and we're killing cows. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're killing horses, and we're gonna get our lava real quick. And this is very fast, because like this is the fastest way that you can get obby right now actually so you should keep doing that and after that we're gonna make our table as you can see 30 more seconds before pvp we gotta speed run we gotta go 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 because right after i immediately get backstabbed i'm not even kidding watch 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 you can see me like kind of getting nervous because i know it's pvp when you're zero zero we gotta get the books i got prod sharp anyway look at me i'm kind of being slow right now because i don't know what to get i have very minimum levels i'm trying to get all prod eventually i found sharpness and I started hurrying up after this one. Look. Boom. Boom. Found sharp. Boom. Just got unbreaking, whatever. And then a pop prod. And look, I'm gonna be crafting my heels now. Although, kind of too late. I should have done it earlier. But regardless, I eventually got backstabbed. And that pumped my heart rate. And notice how we're stuck in the tree. Eventually, I had to go out so I can start comboing him. And getting the crits. Because what you want to go for is crits. Crits are very overpowered. And eventually, we just... You just want to see how far we ran. We ran this far. It was like a good five minutes, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, he found a kill, a free kill, while I was like just prepping. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to bump. I'm going to just charge at him, go down. Hopefully, I can kill him. Hopefully. Big hope. Anyway, pre grab, but always pre grab if you're below 20 HP. Now I'm going down to the cave, and I heard he killed someone already, and he heard pre grab. And look at that. What a third, but then I lagged. I don't know how I lagged, I don't know why I had an RTX 3080 with a 12900K. Anyway, continuing on. This guy managed to get out, or did he? He did get out, I don't want to say that. He did get out, and there's someone third partying, and there's someone fourth partying, like what the hell? There's two, two third parties. Anyway, I started picking one off, and I realized there's another guy, so I ran off. And eventually I found a third party, and I went for the guy at the back because he looks more tasty, that's really it free hits and he underpilled so i immediately just went for the other guy till eventually i couldn't find him like after this he was running for like for a long time i'm pretty sure anyway if you haven't yet liked the video and subscribed please do anyway this is gonna be like a very good clean that guy got one hit it's the ducky guy and notice how i'm clear inventory you would always want clear inventory so you can get like literally like right there just bait and diamond boots and right there Look, he wants to get the loot, but there's no loot, so I ended up going for him. Get some crits in, PvP him, combo, and see how we're going for that Ares guy? Don't do that. This is because I'm third-partying this guy, so basically, eventually went for this guy. Notice there's another guy, OTP. I'll go for OTP because he's also low. They're all one-shot, but then this guy bothered checking the Ares, and that was a free kill, and he got knockback boost from him. Eventually, I got the other guy basically doing a 2v1. And I'm just looting. You gotta, you know, take your time off after a solid 2v1. And just relax. Try not to bother any other people. You notice how there's another guy, actually, <laughs> with a trident riptide. Like, it's kind of crazy. And it's a crazy game, basically. I eventually got the OP Lich Staff. 
And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go for him. I don't really get the loot and I pre-gapped. And I noticed another guy, so I just ran off. Run, running off is the best position, is the best thing to do right now. Especially because you wanna just reset, get everything you need, get the areas you need. And I noticed there's a fourth guy for some reason. There's a fourth guy and I look my pack, nothing happens. I just cut it because nothing happened. And anyway, we're gonna make our areas real quick. Make one more. And I noticed making a G edit because I still have a G edit craft. And I still have one more. Oh, wow, this is so talkative. Anyway, we got Gerald's. I wonder what we'll get. I don't know. Maybe it's in the video title. I don't know. I don't know. Is it in the video title? We'll see. Anyway, we got another Ares up in clutching up, you know. We're gonna get eventually the legendary Lich Staff after I make five gaps. Anyway, Lich Staff right there. Boom. You notice how I punch book and I never use the bow? Well, this is basically a challenge. No bow challenge. Anyway, look how OP this is. Look at the movement. The movement's crazy. That's crazy movement. Look, look at that. And eventually I went to zero zero using this because if you sprint with it, in water, you get Frostwalker. Frostwalker, normally, you can't sprint jump with it. But with this Lich Staff, you can apparently sprint jump, which is very broken. So I'm just the movement god in this game. Over the Riptide. And look at me. Organize. It's very important to organize. Please organize in your game. Anyway, back to going to zero zero. Eventually, we found a guy. So we're just going to be a movement god. Go for him. And just look how like overpowered this weapon is. You can utilize it in so many ways. And first of all, this is the first example. Movement. You can just use it for movement. Just look how OP it is. Free crit, that's 5 damage. It's 10 hearts. Or, I don't know. 5 hearts. Anyway, this guy gapped. My, th my, my top process was like, okay, let me make him eat a G head. And eventually, I'll go for a 1v1 a bit. So that, you know, his healing gets worn off. Basically, I became low. And I had to maybe back out in a bit. Eventually, I backed out, but... In this case, I kind of tunnel vision, which you shouldn't do. Look at that quick water. If I didn't do that quick water bucket clutch, I would have died, like genuinely. Anyway, continuing on. He got third party, so he just backed off. And this guy, look at this guy. Look at him. He's a trapper, by the way. And what I managed to do was very good. This is the second best way to use it, which is to ice him. And he slows down because of the ice. You can hear the tick, 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 you know? Because he's slowing down. He's also getting a like, kind of poison, which is very good. Anyway, we're back, so yeah, he's just gonna die here. It's so easy, he's full iron, no enchants. Eventually, he's gonna try to trap me, but he doesn't trap me. Got the gaps, got the diamonds. Unfortunately, I didn't get the head. I wasn't thinking about that. But Lisa third party, And that was a big mistake, I didn't get the head. Because eventually, in the late game, she ended up getting a uh, Reaper side, which is super broken. Anyway, my first plan of action whenever I go to that match is obviously go to mid. But I want to like at least scan and you know try to get some free kills, aka full irons. And eventually I get two gaps from there. Two gaps from there. And this guy just gets the other two. So I have no idea what he got. Anyway, I iced him. But I tried my best to go for him for some reason. Which was just a bad play. I could have done something else. But it ended off in a good thing. But before that happens, I just wanna say. If you haven't yet, please like the video and please subscribe because I'm giving you so much tips that, you know, you could use eventually. And server name is hoplite.gg, so join. But yeah, thank you for watching until you're here. Hope you can watch till the end. Anyway, eventually I gave up on the guy and I noticed there's so many half diamonds, full diamonds, and I spotted this full iron. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for him. Yeah, I thought the other guy was going to go for me, so I was like, okay, he's not. Let me just go for him straight up. So I saw he's 29 HP with a tab and I could easily outrun him because of this pattern of movement and all I could do is crit, 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 all crits. So he's a 5 hit to me. Eventually I noticed I got 11 gaps from that guy and I was like, you know what, I'm a back out, get the Ares real quick because I want to get the best items as much as possible. Imagine if this gave me like a free notch or something, like imagine, you know? Anyway, just starting my loot, starting out my inventory, try to get the best inventory as well. I got a sponge, but it's fine. I cut all the way here. It's been like five minutes because nothing happened. Anyway, as you can see, it's like a weird map. But all I did this entire like three minutes was just lich staff people. Specifically this T Toral guy because I noticed he has no heals. As you can see, just kept on hitting him. Hitting him, hitting him, hitting him. <laughs> yeah, basically that's another way to use it. First for movement. Which is like technically the second thing, but the first thing for me is movement. Second is to ice people, make it annoying, get it in his head like, oh, I don't know what to do against a person with a lich staff. And yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. <laughs> He's like straight up swimming or something. Like, basically, 
yeah, it's kind of random. But at the end of the day, it's about you know who can you know who can win with the mindset as well of winning. It's hard to explain, but you need to be in the mindset that you'll win every game just so you can win your game. And yeah, just look at me, just target that guy because I knew he had no heals. Anyway, eventually, I'm just taking my time, and I want to give you a quick spoiler, but I end up killing everybody out of the four five people including me i killed four of them which is you know everyone except for me obviously and yeah i'm, I'm not forgetting that lisa has a dead side or a reaper side and that's very broken so i'm keeping my my potion which is a strength potion which gives like three extra damage and two g heads for the late game for when the border is gone and right now i notice you know people are getting confident and i just want to keep hitting them so that they can get scared and then i notice t Taral is 14 hp so after I hit Lisa one more time, I, th I said, you know what, I'm gonna go straight for him. He's 16, he's not getting any more he health here, he's a free kill. So watch this, I'm gonna straight up go for him and look how OP, just look how OP the staff is, look at it. 3, 2, 1, and boom, I'm gonna start pushing him now. Anytime now, pushing him, pushing him, pushing him, yeah, there we go, look at it, look at it, look at it, look how broken that is. He also got me in a cobweb, which is kind of dumb for me, but I almost missed the kill. He almost got it by like one more tick. And yeah, I started playing more safe. I noticed that the border got really like just sucked in in the middle fast for some reason out of nowhere. So yeah, I just pre gap real quick. Lisa's coming up at me. Gotta go for her. Quick cobweb trap and then just water bucket to clutch myself. And then I noticed he has a dead side out. I call it dead side. I don't care. Stay in that. That side, I was just going for a 1v1 because I noticed the other guy has no heals and off whites is like low on HP. He doesn't look like he has a lot of stuff. I don't know why he didn't go for me there. It's kind of weird. He's just running around. But I started critting out Lisa, three hits, all three crits, and did 13 damage. He's pretty broken. And off whites over there just peeking. I don't know what he's doing, honestly. I want this. A1 is just having fun, honestly. He's <laughs> look at him having fun. It's kind of good to be him. I wish I was him. But yeah, I know this A1's in six. Lisa's pretty low, so you know what I'll do? I'll just ice everyone who's there, because I'll knock people off. And eventually, I got a one with my staff, which is pretty good. And now I'm gonna go for off fights because I don't have the third party. And one more hit, boom! So three tap because I just only went for crits, which is very OP, I know. And then now potion of strength, and I notice he has a dead side right, so I'm gonna go straight with the G at first, and so that he won't steal my regeneration, and so that I have another time to put my other G head after he hits me with the Reaper side. And now look at how OP the movement is. Now I'm gonna crit Lisa out. Missed a crit, but it's fine. Ate the G head. She's going for crits. She did a bad play by going for my going for a Reaper after she removed my five hearts. And yeah, now I got to G head. And look at this. It's very free. And I thought I would die with that cowboy, but look at that. I just won the game. And that's how you win. That's how you win right now. And hope you guys enjoyed. Bye bye.